Yeah, like, uh, yeah, it's a, a, a third uh, consecutive week of doing fucking Elite Dangerous streaming. I can't believe it. Anyway, well, it's the usual start. I'll wait for people to turn up. Fuck it, hell. Radiant Swan's already here. <laughs> that did not take long. Uh, okay, so there's two, there's two already. Is it getting to the point now where people actually expect these? I very nearly didn't even bother doing one of these tonight, because with one exception, I, I can think of one thing to show, but other than that, <laughs> I've got to make this up as I go along pretty much. At least no notifications are working. Well, that's something that works anyway. Right, well, there's already three here, which is usually more than I expect, so let's get uh, things underway. Uh, so I'm still in uh, Colonia space. I am currently in the uh, tier system. And uh, since the last video, or the last stream, I should say, uh, I have progressed a bit. My uh, codex discoveries for this region are up to 121, <coughs> and that. Uh, I mean, there's only 126 in the entire region, so I'm not doing too bad. Uh, it was helped by the fact that uh, the update that came along today, the patch, fixed all the White Dwarf uh, style variants not being added. So I've now scanned all of the White Dwarf uh, star types that are in this region. Unfortunately there's no D or DQ types here, or DX for that matter. Uh, I had a look for them but I gave up pretty quickly. Um, in fact when it comes to... T uh, uh, blah, let's start that again. When it comes to star types the only one I haven't found in this region is the regular W-type uh, Wolf Rayet star. The reason being that this particular one, um, I'll show you where it is, it's right here. You can see just from looking at the uh, star map behind, it's a long old fucking way away. So that's where I am. This is where this is, in the Box Nebula. Uh, 12,820 light years. You know what? I can't be arsed. It's too fucking far. I just can't be bothered. Um, there is another way of finding Wolf Rat stars, which I've used. Um, yeah, I used it for this one, because I couldn't be bothered to go out there. So, uh, yeah, I found another one here. Then with the WNs, oh, I actually did go to uh, that one. WNC, yeah, again, I couldn't be bought to fly out there, so I just stayed in the local area. The WO type I actually found before I got here. Anyway, I'll, I'll go through uh, uh, that method, because it's quite handy for finding the uh, particular star type, especially if you are not in the main populated zone. Uh, with the gas giants I still haven't found the class 2 green. Uh, I suspect this is probably the only one in the region. It's 4,255 light years away, which, you know, compared to some, it's not that far, but it's far enough. Um, and then with the terrestrial planets, again, the only one that I still haven't found is the terraformable um, ammonia planet, or at least I, I did find it, I scanned it, I mapped the surface and it didn't get added, so I don't know if it's working or not. It would suggest not. I have found quite a few ammonia planets since then, and uh, yeah, that none of them were terraformable, so yeah. And then with the biological and uh, geological, 
I'll come back to this one in a minute. We'll do the uh, the only biological I still need to find is the sinuous tubers. I know where they are. I will not be going to this one because this one is 12,210 light years away. I know where there is one that is a lot closer. It's still over 2,000, but that's 10,000 light years nearer. So yeah, I'll go and check it there. But the only other one in this section that I haven't got yet is the Proto Lagrange cloud. But if we click on where it was found, you can see I've been here. I've mapped everything. So the fact that I've been to this system and I have mapped everything might give you a bit of a clue as to what is rather fucking up with it. Yeah, let's use the jet. I don't need to use the jet cone to get to uh, this place. So I won't. Anyway, we will fly out there. Uh, I think that is it as far as the uh, discoveries go. Uh, now with the stats, uh, yeah, I've passed 10 billion in uh, current assets. Only just, but I've done it. So uh, that's one of the uh, goals that I set myself while I was out here uh, done. The other two are to reach 19,000 systems, so I need to do another 193 and to get profits from exploration up to 2 billion, well, I'm not far from it, 65 million away. I'm not going to be able to do those though while I'm here. This is the last day that I'm spending out here, I am going to make my way back, so, um, hmm. Uh, Right, well, we have uh, the system that... Uh, whoops, I did not mean to fucking start that. Fuck off. So we have the system plotted, right? It, it is... So the, uh, it is this one. Eolpru PX-T D3-1363 Where the Proto-Lagrange cloud has been reported. Now, I haven't been there since the uh, update that came along today. But that fixed the uh, White Dwarf Stars. It also fixed the uh, FSS uh, scanner. So, you can now scan, you know, really distant uh, planets without it fucking up. That was good of them. Right, now once I've done this thing of uh, showing the uh, fuck up with this Proto Lagrange cloud, uh, I have no idea what to do afterwards. So if anyone watching this shite has any suggestions, uh, feel free to uh, send them my way. Ah, oh, you fucking cunt. So I'll scan whatever is in this uh, first system. The fact that it's uh, class E says to me that it won't be too bad. It'll probably be a blue uh, star of some kind. Either an A or a B, it won't be an O. But, uh, There we go, class B blue white. Four, three, two, one, eight. I'm also hoping that the return trip, which I am fucking dreading, is not going to take anything like as long as the trip out here. Because, firstly, I will be using the Neutron Highway. I usually avoid trying to use it, but I just want to get the return trip over and done with as quickly as possible. 
and I won't be making too many detours for scanning particular systems. So, right, I'll just uh, quickly uh, scan this place. Oh yes, it does um, now stay centralised on the uh, object you had just scanned. It doesn't switch it around, which is another fucking welcome fix. So for once, this is an update that does actually look like it has fixed a fair bit. How long do you reckon that's going to last? Oh, I'll scan the metal rich. It looks like there's, yeah, three metal rich objects all orbiting each other. Oh, that's handy. So we'll uh, target the main uh, planet. It also looks like there is some notable stellar phenomena here. Mm. That might be one of them. Well, if it's not, then it's one of those instead. Right, that's everything over there. Still another 11 to find. I bet it's behind the fucking. Yes, it would be. No, I also didn't find where the notable stellar phenomena is. But I will definitely want to take a look at it. I'll relight that in a minute. There it is. Okay, that's only 184 away. Well, that's handy. I'll check check that out after the um, after I map the uh, three high metal con uh, metal rich uh, planets. Right, that's the system done. So let's go and. Uh, take a look at these and then we'll take a look at that uh, notebook phenomena see if it is what I want it to be Now one thing I am considering with regards to the uh, return trip to uh, the populated zone is to just get in a uh, sidewinder, self-destruct, declare myself bankrupt and get the free sidewinder, uh, rebuild my ship, my uh, cutter and sell the one that's out here. The reason for that is it's actually cheaper for me to do that, to rebuild uh, the cutter back in the um, populated zone than it is to get it sent from here back to uh, where I had it stationed. I uh, did a bit of a check to see how much it would cost and it will cost me around 
1.5 billion to get this ship sent from Colonia back to uh, <laughs> the populated zone. And okay, I'm not exactly desperate for credits, but I'm not spending 1.5 billion to get this ship sent there. I was surprised. There's one thing that isn't fixed. So I haven't mapped this, but it's coming up that I have. Uh, this apparently only needs one probe anyway. Surface scanned by 50%. There we Surface go. Scan complete. Ah, it's counted as uh, I didn't get the uh, efficiency bonus there because I launched the second one too fucking quickly. There we go. So there is now. A discrepancy in my uh, efficiency bonuses earned and the number of planets scanned. Oh well, I think I can live with that. This must only like yeah, only needs one as well. Surface scanned by yeah. fifty percent. Right. Surface scan complete. So that's the planets or, or the three that I was gonna be scanning. Let's check out this notable stellar phenomena then. See what it is. Well, I know what it is. It's a Lagrange cloud of some kind, but I don't know what. And there's bound to be something in there. Most likely um, the uh, metallic crystal things. Um, yeah, metallic crystals. Uh, there may be solid mineral spheres or even lattice mineral spheres in there as well and there's likely to be umbrella mollusks in there as well but what really uh, what I'm really after is the right kind of Lagrange cloud I'll be able to tell if it's the right kind straight away as soon as we get there So, what are the odds of this being the right kind? This being the proto Lagrange cloud? I'd say the odds are very high against it. It's the wrong kind. <laughs> there. Sometimes these clouds are so dense and so dark that you need to use the uh, uh, night vision to be able to see where all the uh, 
crystals are, because they can be right in front of you and you won't have a fucking clue. There is something else in here by the looks of it. Oh no, that's just more distant metallic crystals. So anyway, so this is the wrong sort. So let's carry on to the next destination. So as you saw, this system which we are about to jump to is in the codex as being a system that has the Proto Lagrange Cloud. scan anything because I've already been here about four times now. Uh, we can see two notable stellar phenomena next to each other and that's it there are only two and in fact if we bring up the uh, FSS this is where uh, the Grand Clouds are on there so there's the first one scanned and let's scan the second one. Right, and you can see no more signals. So that is it, there are only two in this system. So let's head to the first one. I'm sure you've all figured out by now what is going to happen. Right, let's have a look at the chat while we're here. Okay. Um, I'm farming again, I could do with some cynical company. Well, there's, uh, there's no doubt that I am uh, a proud cynic. Uh, I'm never sure whether to give credit when FD fixed something that they broke in the first place. No, I'm a bit reluctant to uh, give uh, FD any credit really. Uh, stop swearing our seven year old boy. Well, fuck off then. Fucking description says millennials are not welcome. Uh, credit was usually given when someone did a good job. I am quite convinced that. Uh, didn't finish my piece, couldn't be asked. Uh, climbing the charts in the Inara. I can't believe my position in the Inara charts. Uh, yeah. I think at the last time I looked at something like 32. Uh, a few days ago I looked there and I was fucking 15th. What the fuck am I doing there? Well, I'm not there anymore now. I say I'm down to down to about 32, but So we're almost on top of the fucking thing.
Right, so here we are, and you can clearly see, right, this is not a Proto Lagrange. This is whatever the green one is, uh, Viridine or something like that, Viridium. But it's most definitely not the uh, photo, uh, a Proto uh, Lagrange cloud. Right, okay. So therefore, the, uh, it must be at the second one, eh? Hmm. Oh, okay, well, let's go and take a look. So this second one is now 8,000 fucking light seconds away. we got here. Uh, nothing else. Anyway, I'm sure you've all figured out by now what uh, is going to happen here. This one that I'm heading to, this is not Proto Lagrange either. So even though the codex states that uh, this is a system that uh, contains a uh, proto uh, Lagrange cloud, it would help if I open the right fucking section. Yeah, even though it says quite clearly there, well, there aren't any in here. In fact, I even resorted to uh, referring to EDSM and I have scanned uh, five systems all nearby here that uh, are all confirmed as having or containing Proto Lagrange clouds and not one of them has the things now I just cannot find them anywhere not even in uh, systems where they previously were so what the fuck has happened to them? Have they been taken out of the game for some reason? In which case, why didn't Frontier Developments tell us? Are they bugged? In which case, again, why didn't Frontier Developments let us know? <coughs> so they fucked up, uh, or rather they fixed, you know, some of their uh, fuck-ups. About fucking time too. But here's another one. Which not only hasn't uh, been fixed, but Frontier Developments don't seem to have uh, even acknowledged that the program, uh, you know, the problem even exists. So you go, come out here, and you can clearly see that is not a Proto Lagrange cloud. Now, if you've not been to any Lagrange clouds yet, and you don't know how I can tell straight away, uh, the prototypes, well, that could even be uh, not necessarily a, a, a verbal fuck up there. Proto Lagrange clouds are very early formations of uh, the Lagrange cloud itself. There's no colour, it's very, very wispy. You can barely see any difference between them and uh, regular space and I know that because I have seen one if we go back to inner Orion Spur and we check here Lagrange clouds confirmed now I found one in the Alornus uh, system so uh, anyone watching this uh, any of them actually uh, in game if it's not on the issues tracker, la la, can't hear la la la. Ah, but it is on the issues tracker, because guess who put it on there a couple of days ago? <laughs> yeah, so they can't deny knowing anything about it. 
So anyway, yeah, so anyone actually in-game at the moment and around the uh, uh, the main populated zone. So here is Alornus. So yeah, it's, it's in the main... Oh, okay, it's a little bit out, I think. Actually, no, no, it isn't. No. I'm talking about. I could bollock over there quickly. Yeah, right. yeah so yeah, if you can head to Alornus, um, so there will be uh, at least one uh, notable stellar phenomena uh, signal there. Uh, so check them out and let me know if either of them are uh, are still proto uh, Lagrange uh, clouds because well as you can see here not here that's the fucking uh, actually I'll come back to squadrons in a sec uh, so yeah as you can see here it there definitely was one because I confirmed it the one at Regia uh, blah -de blah that one's a bit too far out from the uh, populated zone, but this one, no problem. But I suspect it will have been changed, and it will be uh, Crocium, that's the kind I'm at now, the yellow one. And then that sort of bluey green one I was at is, yeah, Viride. Uh, so, um, yeah, I don't know what the fucking hell they're doing there. Now I did mention earlier, and then forgot to show you, um, an easy way of looking for <coughs> uh, like Wolf Riot stars or if you're you know, going after specific codex types. And all you do is just type in like the uh, region you're in, so you will prove. And unless uh, the system has been specifically, uh, you know, designated, it will be EL through AA-A -A or whatever the um, region, you know, or the uh, sector you're in. AA-A -A space H, leave that blank. And now it will cycle through all of the signals or all of the systems that start with this uh, designation. So this first one here is a black hole. The next one is B blue white. So to get an H designation, there's got to be uh, more than one there, surely. No, there is only the one. So that could be a giant. It won't be a super giant because it will actually come up as a super giant. So the next one's here. Uh, there you go, so Star Class B Blue Super Giant, so if you need one of them, there you go. Uh, here's a Wolf Rat, uh, Wolf Rat C, I've already found one of those. So all you do is just keep cycling through them. Uh, another Blue Super Giant. If you come across uh, Class O, which I know you will do because this is how I found my one, the chances are it will be a giant, it won't be a regular class O. Uh, here we go, so O, blue, white. In fact, this may even be the one that I uh, went to. Yeah, it's the only thing here. And, um... It actually, yeah, it actually turned out to be a giant, not a, a regular. So, that meant that that got added to, um the uh, Codex Discoveries here, uh, oh, H7 is uh, the one I went to. I don't know if that was where I'd got to on that list. So if you're looking for O's, B's, or Wolf Rat Stars, or Black Holes, that's a good way of uh, finding them. So, oh yes, Erodian is on. So, uh, we'll be able to watch what he, what he is doing. 
Now, uh, what to do next? <laughs> like I say, uh, I am not entirely sure. I started doing this not knowing what to actually do. Well, I head back to Colonia anyway. And then we'll check and see if anyone um, has come up with any suggestions. I'll dock at uh, Dove Enigma, the mega ship here, rather than uh, on the uh, Jacques station itself. Oh, bollocks. I was meant to fucking hide this place, not... I don't know if I actually mentioned, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I actually mentioned Star Citizen much, uh, in the last stream. If I didn't, it would probably be probably the first time I did, a uh, Elite Dangerous live stream on YouTube where I wasn't ranting on about it. I think I've already scanned this system. Yeah, I must have done. Just double check, yeah, I have done. But, um... Here we go with uh, another uh, Star Citizen rant. Um, I don't know how many of you actually subscribe to the uh, Star Citizen uh, newsletter, which comes along every month. Well, this month they really did surpass themselves. Uh, in it, it said... Uh, Make note for a, a very special date uh, coming up. Uh, it's a very important uh, date as well. It was either special or important. One of the one of them, anyway. And I thought, ah, oh, does this mean we're actually going to get an announcement about, I don't know, the, the game being released? No. Uh, Squadron 42, an announcement on the, uh, you know, release schedule for that. No. Mm, an announcement about Star Citizen going into beta. No. What was it? It was an announcement about uh, the next big uh, convention which is being held in Manchester. That's their big announcement. They have conventions every month. They have multiple conventions every month. But this big announcement was for another one in Manchester. Anything about the actual game getting, you know, anywhere near being finished? Oh, fuck that. Why on earth would they announce anything like that? Ah, oh, it's the next big, uh, you know, next big convention. And you know the greatest thing about it is the name. It is called Citizen Con. And I have never heard a more accurate fucking name for a convention at any point in video game history. Fucking next convention. Are you taking the piss or what? Well, yeah, they are. So, yeah, I just remembered something else as well. At the end of the last video, I hadn't got access to uh, Mel Brandon, the uh, the last of the four engineers out around here. Um, well, I do now. And in order to get it, 
turned out that it was nowhere near as uh, complicated as I thought it would be. And this uh, mega ship that I'm heading to now is where you need to go. So, um, turned out to be quite a happy coincidence actually, because I'd forgotten all about that. So once I'm docked here, we'll show you, uh... You need to go to the mission board. And there is an actual specific mission to do where the reward is, uh, the invitation to, uh, go and, uh, see old Mel Brandon and see what he wants you to do before he will start doing, uh, any engineering upgrades. In fact, what he wants is 100,000 in, uh, 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 what are the fucking called? Bounties. Which is far from difficult. Uh, one ship. I took out one wanted uh, member, and that paid me 200 and something thousand. So, there you go. One ship did it. He does seem to be the most useful of the engineers out here. I, it wasn't just me who saw that glitch when the uh, mega ship first showed there, was it? Uh, it's on the other fucking side, it would be. Carry on like this, I'm going to fly into the fucking thing, so... Uh, go this way around. One. There we are. And it looks like uh, I'm approaching from the wrong fucking side. did it there with the uh, how far I had to get away from it. Take the other hand in. Oh, one. Well, okay. So anyway, so you click on the mission board. I don't know if you have to actually be allied with Colonia Council or if you can do it when you are just uh, friendly. But then again, I mean, if you're flying out here from... Uh, uh, you know, from the main populated uh, zone, you've amassed so much fucking uh, you know, exploration data that you can, you know, sell it all and you'll be uh, allied with Colonia Council anyway. But yeah, the top mission will be uh, an invitation mission. It's it's something really simple. You just take uh, some uh, like data to a nearby populated uh, system. Give it to them, you don't get any credits for it, but you get the uh, invitation to old uh, Mel Brandon. So there he is. Uh, so I have pinned uh, specialised shield cell banks, which he does up to grade 4. 
I was hoping it would be grade 5, but it turns out that is a typo. Nevertheless, grade 4 is an improvement over what you can get in the, uh, you know, in the main populated zone. So, but it will also do grade 5 uh, thrusters, uh, shield generator, I think even shield boosters, um, uh, beam lasers, uh, I think pulse lasers, so I mean he does a hell of a lot, so if you're out around here and you need, uh, you know, whatever parts of your ship um, engineered, he's definitely uh, the best one to go to. Right, where are we up to here? Um, Right, there we go. Uh, SC will go down as the biggest rip in gaming history. I think it was, it's already there. I think they're now up to something like $235 million that they've raised for a game that isn't even... It's not even close to coming out of Alpha, and yet it's been in development for what, seven years now? No, maybe not quite that long, like six. But... I, but I, oh. I mean, it's just a fucking joke. Anyway, um... Right. <laughs> well, now I haven't got a fucking clue what to do. So, I've been asking for, uh, any suggestions. Not got anything yet. Um... Okay, so, Erodian is in the, uh, Alorna system. So should hear back from him fairly soon as to whether or not any of those uh, uh, notable stellar phenomena are still Lagrange clouds or the, the proto uh, Lagrange cloud so as I may have said at the start but I can't remember I'm not going to scan everything uh, here because, well, as far as the Wolf Rat Star goes, it's just too far away. I just can't be bothered. Same with the Class 2, uh, the green Class 2 uh, gas giant. And with, well, as far as the terrestrials go, I mean, if I'm lucky and I stumble across another um, terraformable ammonia planet, then great, but uh, I somehow doubt I'm going to. Uh, with the biological ones, well, yeah, so it's the Proto-Lagrange cloud, which just seems to have completely disappeared. Uh, the only other one left is the Sinuous Tubers, which I will check out um, on the way uh, back to uh, the populated zone, because although it says uh, with that one... Metallic crystals too, yeah, they're already here. Q-type anomalies... Uh, yeah. So what's the cloud type? Uh, are you seeing metallic crystals and uh, the anomalies within the cloud? That's just, that's fairly common. Well, especially the metallic crystals. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what uh, Lagrange's cloud it is. It, um, you know, it will contain some other stuff there. I keep forgetting about, like, the 20-second uh, delay, so... nothing yet. So what does this mean? I should just start making my way back uh, to the populated zone now. It's not going to be a particularly interesting video, mind you. Me just sitting here docked in the uh, at this uh, mega ship is hardly going to be an interesting video either.
Okay, well I'm going on the assumption then that the, the Lagrange cloud that he was at was not the right sort. Okay, right, well, um, let's uh, just quickly check on something. So I want to head to the nearest system that has those uh, Uh, sinuous tubers and the nearest system that does have them is an awful lot closer than the uh, 12,000 light years away that uh, that first one uh, said Which is 2,408 light years away. And it doesn't look like it's on the... Uh, or on any of the uh, neutron highway. Looks too high. Right, so how many jumps is that? 65 fucking hell hang on why oh ok right right well let's set it to use the jet cone boost right so it's changed it a little bit how many is it using now? 50. Still not great. Okay, well, it reduces the amount that there are anyway. Okay. Well, this is me finished in Colonia Space then. This is uh, the start of the trip back. Well, this is going to be real fun. Ship released. Engines engaged. I always find the trip back from uh, exploration a, a really long old fucking slog. I don't like doing it. when I have 22,000 light years to cover. Yeah, I really don't like doing it. <laughs> but we're finished with this area, so here we go. I think I might break it up a bit, so once I've been to these uh, sinuous tubers, uh, I'll stop in uh, the Scaldi Nebula. Although that might be as far as I go with uh, breaking it up. Both Proto... Okay, so Proto Lagrange are still in the Inner Orion Spur. So what the fuck has happened to the ones out here? Because they have all changed. I mean, you even... You know, I showed you. I went to the system where they are supposed to be 
and neither of them Warning. were that right kilometers. kind. Oh, well, maybe the generation ship will have some more uh, uh, escape pods to uh, help yourself to. Either way, it's going to be a downside more interesting than what I'm doing, because I'm just uh, starting the return trip. Okay, so as it's uh, not going to be very interesting, um, we'll also turn this into a Q&A fucking session again, so... Any questions you want to throw my way, go ahead. Apparently, um, live stream is still going on. <laughs> this obviously isn't very much happening that uh, anyone wants to comment on. So, yeah, saying stream health is fine. Okay, right, so I just had to... Uh, Double check on that one. Only another forty eight to go. And then I gotta find the fucking things once I get there. Frame shift drive charging. I expect there's going to be more than just the two stars here. Yes, there is. Or maybe there isn't. Just one more System fucking star. Complete. Well, it, make, it makes uh, doing the return trip uh, easy enough, anyway. So, just one class G, two M's. Not exactly going to make a fortune from this system, but I mean the sheer number of jumps means that I should reach the uh, two billion mark on the uh, exploration profits, just from the sheer number of uh, jumps that I'll be doing once I get back. Frameshift drive charging. I saw that that was a D designation, I was hoping it would be a neutron star, but no, blue white. Four, three, two, one. Why would anybody want to go to a Star Citizen convention? I mean, those games conventions and all these other, you know, like, uh, like comic uh, cons and uh, Star Wars conventions and all this 
I've seen quite a few like video clips of them in, on YouTube and they've just convinced me that they are the last places on earth I would want to spend any time. I can't see the appeal in any way. And when you see people doing this cosplay shit, I just think, oh fuck it, do they even know what they look like? Well, I'm not travelling 11,000 light year, uh, light seconds to scan that or map it, so uh, this will do for this one. I think the worst convention I've heard of. Uh, I mean, we all know about that. Uh, oh, what the fuck was it called? The one that was organised, well, I say organised, um, by people who use Tumblr. You know the one. It was, it was infamous for how shit it was. Um, but I've seen one that's even worse. And what makes it worse is that it's very popular, despite its subject matter. Uh, hentai con. Hentai convention, and, and people are willing to show their faces at a fucking hentai convention. I, oh. If ever there was an event that could be improved by the addition of nerve gas, it's surely a hentai convention. Well, it looks like I'm finding a load of systems full of fuck all. Oh, well, it just makes the, the trip uh, quicker, I suppose, so I can't complain too much. Uh, what we got? Is the chat still actually working? Someone type test. There we go. Uh, I got into the generation ship, the game crashed, now I can't get back in. Fucking, yeah, okay, so much for this uh, patch uh, uh, sorting things out. Yeah, it's not showing in game. There are plenty of times when people's game crash, but they still show up as uh, being online here. Speaking of games crashing, especially for Erodian, who seems to have the worst luck of any gamer I know, um, there was a, a No Man's Sky update that came out today as well. Uh, it was very small though, it was only 32 uh, meg or something, certainly nothing like the 900 meg um, that this uh, patch was. It's another one, it's just one more star. So I'm finding a, a hell of a lot of fuck all in uh, this trip so far. Googling now. Uh, sounds like Fernal Equinox. That convention for furries. Um, is that the, the that, that furries thing? Is that uh, people who sort of basically get their kicks out of dressing up like your pet dog or something. I and mean, there is something seriously wrong with those people. I still don't think it's as bad as uh, hentai con. I mean, that is just... Do you know what you are saying about yourself if you go to hentai con? Oh, it looks like he's got his game working. Well, he's been able to get this far anyway.
we got oh lost there's some planets to scan here fuck me and the first thing I find is a fucking asteroid cluster well, at least there's uh that's that uh cleared up so That looked like class three. How many planets are here? Twenty-three. Oh, that won't take long. Fuel scooping complete. I can't tell if that last signal is uh, another gas giant or a water world. I think it's gas giant. Yes it is. It may even be a water giant. No water based life though. See there behind us. No, okay. Good job. I didn't actually place that bet. All right, there we go. I don't know how many uh, more of these long distance exploration trips I'm going to be doing. I mean, I would like to scan, you know, at least one of every different, uh, you know, object that there is. But uh, that is probably going to involve me having to, you know, head close to somewhere like Beagle Point. And I have no intention of you know, going that far out. It was bad enough when I did the, you know, 45,000 uh, light second trip. But, uh, yeah, going any further than that, I don't think I can. Well, there is a water world here. Why is it the first thing I always find is the fucking asteroid clusters? The one gas giant. Doesn't look like there's a lot here. No, it's only seven. But I will map the water world if I can find the fucking thing. Fuel scooping complete. Oh, where the fuck is it? One thousand six hundred and fifty away. That's not, that's not too bad. Right, where are we on the old? Uh, that's them. We're those from probably harmless mostly. <laughs> I would hope so. Uh, I would, would rather dress up as David Braben. <laughs> um, yeah, well. Whatever floats your boat, there's me thinking that those uh, Furbies are weird. Uh, how are you doing? Um, I'm doing. Well, I am uh, putting the light on. Ah. Back again, that was unpleasant. It's also par for the course, it seems, with this game. I, I must admit, when 
I first started it up after today's update and I saw that firstly the uh, FSS uh, you know they'd finally fix that and then I was able to scan all of the uh, white door variants I was thinking oh they've actually done okay this time around I guess not so and there's still uh, the old business of the uh, Proto Lagrange clouds. Well, they've certainly disappeared from uh, uh, this. Uh, uh, was it Inner Scutum Sagittarius or whatever it is? Arm. Um, um, they've disappeared from this region, but they are still in the uh, Inner uh, uh, Orion, uh, whatever. The region where the uh, main populated zone is, anyway. Now the thing is, I'm heading back there, but I mean, what do I do once I'm there? I have no idea. So, well, uh, I'd say server load caused that one, maybe. I'd be a bit surprised. Uh, the, the servers don't seem to be under a particularly heavy load anymore, because I think a lot of people have given up again. I mean, I haven't had any disconnections due to the server for uh, I don't know how long. But, I, like I say, that's not because I think Frontier Developments have fixed it. I think it's because the number of people who are trying to log in has just dropped because people are just giving up again. So, if, if you are one of those people who are still uh, playing this game, oh, don't tell me it's going to do this again. It's just going to keep repeating uh, sending that message. We'll find out in a, in a bit. Anyway, um... Yeah, where was I? Yep, yeah, it's just constantly sending that message again. Now this happened when, uh... 3.4, I think it was when, uh, not 3, 3.3, after their first patch to try and fix the fuck up that 3.3 was. Um, yeah, it just kept sending the same message to me over and over again. And also the message I'd written to him, it kept sending that over and over and over again. So if he's going to keep doing that, Okay, and now it's come up with a blank, uh... Well, if it does it again, um... I know how to stop it. Or at least it worked last time. System scan complete. So another system with just one more star in it. At least it means I can uh, scan it e easily enough. Quickly enough. Right, is it famous last words or has it actually stopped? Frame shift drive charging. Yeah, it looks like it stopped. Travelling 73,000 light seconds to uh, map that one. I think if it was an Earth like, I would consider it. But even water worlds, if they're that far away, no, I don't bother. Complete. 
but I, I scanned no shortage of uh, Earth likes while I was around Colonia. There are plenty of them around there. I mean, I must have scanned something like 20 of them. And I didn't even go like 200 light years away from uh, Colonia. So yeah, there's no shortage of them around there. So if you want to make uh, decent money from exploration, well, firstly, you'll make decent money getting there anyway. I mean, I made, I'll say, about 450,000, uh, 450 million just on the trip from uh, uh, the populated zone to Colonia. And then, you know, yeah, with all the uh, Earth likes and ammonia worlds and water worlds and that that's. Uh, surround it you'll make a decent amount um, while you're there as well so yeah uh, any uh, budding explorers it's certainly worth uh, worth doing sixteen around here That's quite a lot for a uh, neutron star And loads of them are metal rich. And they're only 1100 away. Fucking look at all this lot. These are all metal rich. System scan complete. Well, let's have a look at this. So, uh, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Right, well, it's not going to be very interesting, but there's no way I'm passing that up. Seven metal rich uh, moons around that uh, brown dwarf. Let's uh, supercharge the uh, train shift drive now. And I'll go and map all of that lot. I mean, it shouldn't take too long. Again, famous last words. Right, now we just need to try and get out of this fucking thing. There we go. Right. Okay, let's go and uh, scan all of these. Or map all of these, I should say. I mean, you know, it's less than 1200 light seconds away. I can't not do that. Um, haven't played in years. Is it worth getting back into? Um, well, if you haven't played it in years, there's a hell of a lot more in here now than there was when you last played it. And it almost seems to be a bit of a, a case of luck of the draw. But uh, for me, anyway, a lot of the bugs seem to have been fixed as well, so although I can scarcely believe I'm saying this, I'd say yeah, it's it's worth having another bash on it. I mean, you've got incentives to go exploring, because it's not just a case of filling in the codex like some sort of I spy book or something, you do get uh, paid for every non-astronomical uh, codex entry you find. Um, so yeah, even like, you know, the, the, the tedious aspect, as many people uh, thought of, uh, you know, thought that exploration was, even this now gives you a, a reason to, to do it. It's not just, you know, going from one system to another now. You want to then, you're then looking for specific uh, signals within each system. You know, that uh, contain the uh, specific, uh, you know, codex entry, whether it's a geological uh, a find, a biological signal, or whatever. So, uh, yeah, I, I can't believe I'm saying it, but, yeah, it's, 
it's worth playing the game again. Herodian has come online again, so is, is it still uh, giving you issues? I've I got to do them in order because otherwise I'll forget what I've scanned and what I haven't, so I'll show you B's right on the other side. Yep. Okay, so oh, it looks like his uh, um, profanity filter is still on. So, well, it's working okay for me, but clearly not for everybody. Uh, I would say get away from that, um, what's you call it, uh, the mega ship that he was on, but he already has. showed him as being in Shinrata, so it can't be that. I do the fuck would want to be in Shinrata in open anyway. This is going to take longer than I thought it would, but, uh, you know. So I need the credits, you know, I've only got 4,744,162,373, so, yeah, I clearly need more. Sold Codex Discoveries got paid, but they were still there to be sold again. Naturally, I tried again and crashed. They're still there, ready to be sold. So it sounds like there's something that's still. Well, actually, that's a new one. If uh, you, you, you sell your Codex uh, Discoveries, oh fuck it, I lost three, and this is only meant to be two, so. Surface scanned by 50%. Well, I've got the efficiency target anyway because the first one finished scanning before the other two hit. That's handy. So, well, I mean, it could be like that fucking, um, you know, uh, restock old uh, glitch. It has sold uh, the. Um, uh, oh, they're gone. I could have done that all night. <laughs> we only get 50,000 per codex discovery. Well, if it's new. If it's one you've already found, you, you get 2,500. So, yeah, you could have done that all night and built up your uh, balance. But it probably would have taken a fair while uh, to uh, bump it up by a decent amount. 
Now one thing that's fucked up with them is that uh, if you get a new one or if you find say uh, more than one uh, new codex in entry in the same system it will only pay you for one of them. The others you get fuck all for. So by the time I got to Colonia I had something like 1.2 million of the things uh, built up. But it should have been a lot more than that. It should have been like about two and a half million worth. But uh, no, it didn't pay me for a load of them. I don't know if that has been fixed, but uh, I wouldn't bet the house on it. Alorus is worth 100,000 in codex discoveries if anyone's interested. So that will be the Proto Lagrange Cloud. The. Well, if you haven't found any metallic crystals yet. And uh, the. Was it Q type anomaly? So that's actually 150,000. But yeah, though, I mean, it doesn't sound like a lot, you know, 50,000 for each one. But if you do manage to get it so that it does pay you for each uh, uh, each one of those. Um, yeah, I mean, in uh, the Inner Orion Spur, I haven't found them all. But I have found 164 of them. And as you've seen here, I've found, what is it, 118 of them. So, you know, times that by 50,000, and uh, yeah, it does add up. How many people are wishing I'd fucking hurry up and get this over and done with? Only two more to go after this one. So that's E. Uh, oh, only 39 jumps before I'm at the system with the uh, uh, sinuous tubers. Fuck it, I was hoping F and G would be together, but no. Is that G there? No. I bet G's fucking behind me or something. Yes, it is.
so last one then after this. Just make sure it's. I don't know if it works if you've uh, selected another uh, planet yet. Right, on to G, last one. I imagine there are plenty of people who are glad to say, or glad to hear that, as if they haven't all fucked off uh, already. Let's uh, check on the uh, chat. Uh, nothing there, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Okay, that is the last of them. I can hear the cheers from here. Surface scanned by 50%. Yeah. Surface scan complete. Yeah, so this next planet has a D designation. Is it going to be a neutron star? Am I going to uh, clear a decent amount of space? I forgot about that. I'd already uh, supercharged this one, so uh, yeah, we're 152 in one jump. I know it's not much compared to anacondas or asp explorers, but 152 light years. In an imperial cutter, not bad. I will certainly take that. Yeah. How many jumps now? 38. Well, getting through it, I've done 12. <laughs> okay, now. So, okay, so our Radian is not online anymore, so, uh. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's crashed on him again, but. You never know. This is another D uh, designation. D11 28 27. Sounds like it might be a neutron star. It is! Right, okay, that's handy. I can uh, supercharge this boost. On comes Phoenix D Fire, the man who got me started with uh, doing Elite Dangerous videos of any kind. So if you want someone to blame, he's the one.
You see, he hasn't done any Elite Dangerous videos for quite a while now. So, um... I, mean, I know he still plays the game. Duh. But, uh... Not as often as he used to. And he's... I don't know if he's just given up with doing videos or what. I suppose I could just ask him, but... Okay, so these are the last two. System scan complete. None of them were planets that I were particularly interested in mapping, so I'm not going to bother. We'll just uh, supercharge this and bugger off straight away. Warning: Frame shift drive operating beyond safety limits. Oh, this is taking a while to supercharge this one. Warning. Frame shift drive operating there we go. safety limits. Frame shift drive supercharged. I think it's because I spent too long on the outskirts of the uh that like jet stream rather than uh going into the heart of it. Anyway. Got it done. Another one where it's just one more star. System scan complete. Right. Uh, I signed out, no further crashes, so I guess it's all right now. Well, all right now that you signed out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Felt like I'd done more than that. I mean, this is the problem with uh, doing exploration videos. I mean, they're not interesting to watch. All it is is just me going from one system to the next and scanning it and then buggering off to the next one. And I'm not one of these players who just goes into a system and straight away goes on the next one. I know that I will almost certainly never come to these systems again. So I'll scan, you know, the whole bloody place, even if it is just two stars. And if there is something of, you know, decent value, I will then map it. So, yeah, I don't race through it when I'm covering a, a really long distance like this. But then when I do finally dock and uh, I hand in the exploration data, um, it immediately becomes apparent that uh, it wasn't such a shit idea after all. the uh, seven more to scan. That's a water world. Right, well I'll map you. Three more. They're all behind the fucking uh, star there. Complete. 
System scan complete. Alright. None of them were metal rich, so I won't bother scanning them. Just this uh, water world. Should be enough for that one. Get a refill while uh, they're doing that. Surface scanned by fifty per cent. Surface scan complete. All right, and then let's. Uh, Piss off the next one and hope it's a uh, neutron star. Is D designation D9 dash. I thought it was just 25. 25 13. Frame shift drive no. charging. See, if the designation is either D or E, then there's a good chance it will be a neutron star, which uh, I really hope it is. But then again, I've got it. I've got the route, you know, mapped to use the uh, jet cones. And it was going to still be 50 jumps, even using them. So yeah, I was never going to race through it. It's going to be uh, gas giants and moons orbiting them. System yeah, scan right. That's easy enough. Uh, here's a Q, you can A. What's the one thing from Elite 1, 2 or 3 that you miss and wish was in Elite Dangerous? For me, it's the mining machine. Uh, mining machine, was that in First Encounters? Um, that's the one I've played the least. Despite the fact that it's the one I think is the best. But then the only version of First Encounters I've played is the sort of like up-to-date version, you know, the the uh, D3D version, which I think you can now get for free. Um, well, from the first Elite. I'm certainly glad it doesn't have the energy bomb. <laughs> I would not. I would be rather nonplussed uh, playing it, playing this in open, and then some cunt uses an energy bomb. Yeah. Um, I'd like to see the cloaking device back. Uh, failing that, I would like to see uh, the constrictor, the that ship. Um, 
that could also be something that uh, I missed from Frontier. Um, but I mean, as far as Frontier goes, the obvious thing I would I, the, you know I miss and wish was in this is the uh, you know landing on uh, planets with atmospheres. I mean, it was something that you could do right from the get-go in Frontier, but in this. No. And then with First Encounters, like I say, that's the one I've played the least. It's the one I know least well. Uh, but there are a couple of other ships. One from... Uh, Uh, first encounters that I'd like to see in in the game. I'd like to see the uh, Imperial Explorer that was in uh, first encounters, but I can't see that happening. I certainly can't see the Imperial Trader from uh, Frontier being added. It would be too tall. It wouldn't fit through the. Uh, uh, you know, the, the entrance slot on any of the uh, docking stations in this game. In fact, now I think about it, that I think will also apply to the uh, Imperial Explorer in uh, First Encounters. Uh, is the Imperial Trader the Liberator knockoff? Yes. Uh, let's face everybody. If um, if if the you know if the Imperial Trader was added to this uh, game, every fucker who got one would call it the Liberator. Because I remember when I first got the game, and uh, I watched the uh, you know the intro sequence. And I thought uh, the ship in that, which of course was the Imperial Courier, I thought, fucking hell, that looks great, I really want one of those ships. And then I got to the point where I could afford it, and I was looking through uh, the uh, list of ships available at the uh, shipyard, I forget where I was, I was probably at Ashenar or something, and um, I suddenly see... Imperial Trader. I took one look at it and I thought, fuck the courier, I want that. <laughs> well, I mean, like most players in uh, Frontier, I ultimately ended up with the uh, Panther Clipper. Uh, I mean, once you've got one of them, you're nigh on unstoppable. Well, there's quite a bit around there, but... Not everything. See, for a, uh, 32 uh, objects in this system, for a, um, neutron star system, that's a hell of a lot. Um, they're all, uh, asteroid clusters. Fuck them. Right, so that's 28 found, but looks like that's it for around there. No, it isn't. Uh, 
like that, see those last signals are all uh, asteroid clusters. Yeah, the last three are all together around here. System scan complete. Done, at last. It took longer than I thought it would. Hang on, if the next system is only 45.3 light years away. Hang on. Why is it only going to send me... Why has it got me... Oh, hang on. 45, so I do need the fucking supercharger, even though I'm only going a short distance. I can only do 38 in this normally. Warning. Frame shift drive operating beyond safety limits. Frame shift drive supercharged. Seems like, it seems like a fucking waste, supercharging it, and I'm only doing 45 uh, light years. that the next system is uh, a neutron star. This is sending me a really poxy fucking route. Uh, anyway, well, what have we got? Um, I, may, I see you don't get the FSS bug. No, it's been fixed at long last. Um, the update that came along today. Uh... Pants are maxed out with shields, just ram everything. I never actually used it as a, a ram. Uh, trouble with Panther Clipper was you could shoot yourself with your own turret. It actually wasn't the worst for that. The worst was uh, the boa, which had a bug. So, um, if you got into the... Uh, you know, if you fitted weapons to the turrets on the boa, which I did, I had... I think it was something like 150 megawatt beams on the upper and lower uh, turrets. The lower turret didn't work properly, so if you if you moved the view down, it stayed on the upper turret, but looking through your ship. So if you fired, you blew yourself up straight away. <laughs> Which, uh, yeah, I was not uh, very happy when I found that one. That's another ship I'd like to see in this, uh, the Boa. I know it was slightly smaller than the Anaconda, but it had greater uh, uh, cargo capacity, if memory serves. Well, I know it definitely had greater cargo capacity than the Anaconda, but... I don't know if it was as big or I, I think it was slightly smaller. Not much, but uh, yeah, it was slightly. Twenty-one in this system. So it's quite a quite a lot for a uh, neutron star system in here as well. Oh, 
There's always one that's still hanging around. Jeez. Right, so supercharge this one. This one's finally going to take us a decent uh, distance. 152. This is definitely not going to be a neutron star, this one. This will probably be like uh, an F or a G or a K. <laughs> now, one thing I do remember about the Panther Clipper when I had that in Frontier was uh, it was the only ship in the game that I ever fitted the uh, plasma accelerator to. Um, and uh, I, f I fitted it to the front and of course I then never used it because I kept using the turrets so it was a fucking waste of time me uh, fitting the fucking thing and I remember the whatever weapons it was that I had in the turrets they weren't enough to uh, blow up the ship straight away you know, so it wasn't like another boa or a fuck up But there were a few occasions where I did damage the ship, so I thought, right, well, there's no way I'm putting the plasma accelerator into uh, the turrets because they just, you know, I'd just end up blowing myself up again. So I kept it on the front and then never used the fucking thing. world so these are all worth fuck all but I don't like leaving uh, systems only partially uh, scanned uh, you know though this last one's gonna be in it yeah behind the fucking star Oh, so some are still trying to, uh, are still having problems with the uh, FSS. Uh, a bug described was trying to force two common magnet poles together and found where there's multiple zoom levels. Uh, I remember the Chemi S system actually pays you to ship precious metals. Uh, close it uh, they paid you to take gems off their hands um, and so of course the gems instead of being in tons they were measured in grams so you could take as many as you liked although they rarely had a huge number of them and it didn't take up any space in your cargo hold um, and then you just bug it off to the next system and sold them with something like 9,000 uh, per, well, unit, per gram. And uh, I hung around there for a fucking long time. <laughs> but in the uh, uh, disc images for uh, emulation and stuff like that now, they fix that. Because, um, uh, yeah, I've got Frontier World 
way back when I actually did the video review of it. Um, the first thing I did was head straight to ChemES to see if uh, it was uh, still working. No. Oh yeah, would help if I... Okay, there's nothing here anyway. Well, with regards to this uh, FSS bug, um, I say I've not encountered it yet, but <laughs> that doesn't mean I'm not going to. Uh, I suspect it's a case of when I will rather than if. I mean, how many chunks have I got now? 28. So, uh, yeah, I've still got plenty of time to encounter it. That system done. Um, gee, how do you remember all this? Because we're a sad old bastard as well. <laughs> I think uh, Gaffer answered that one. Um, but I mean, it does help that uh, I played it. Well, oh, fucking hell. And when I got that, when did it come out? 93, I think, wasn't it? Um, I basically played that and Sim Life, and uh, they were about the only two games I played for about a year. And, um, yeah, it was also around that time I started losing interest in gaming. I, I went about like six or seven years and I just didn't bother playing any games at all. It must have been around that time. So yeah, for ages until I started playing uh, PC games. Those two were the last two games that I had played at all. So System scan complete. that kind of helps. Uh, not much else to scan uh, in this one. past nine so normally I would be stopping by now and I mean <laughs> there's not really much else to see I mean I know that the old sinuous tubers are not uh, the most common of uh, uh, you know planet based uh, codex you know, entries, you know, biological signals, they're not the most common ones to find, but 
surely you do not want to be sitting there watching this while I do another 20, what is it, 25 still to go to get there, and then I've got to find the fucking things. So, I think, uh, well, I mean, I can just do a video of them once I found them, once I found them. I thought it was just going to be, uh, three more stars here. I'm surprised there are any, uh, planets. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it is behind it. I need a second planet, and it's 4,000 light seconds away. It's a good job I'm not going to be mapping anything in this uh, system. Nine thousand four hundred. Anyway, um, yeah, I think this will do then for for this one. Uh, you're not going to be seeing anything particularly interesting. Yeah, twenty five more jumps. So uh, what I think I'll do, I'll say I'll I'll do a video of the uh, sinuous tubers. So. If there is anyone who really wants to see what they're all about. Normally I would just scan them in the ship and bugger off again. I mean, I don't really need to take the uh, SRV out, but I could do that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, all I'm going to be doing now is just jumping from system to system and scanning it and then buggering off to the next one, so there's not really an awful lot to see. So I'll uh, finish scanning this in the hope that I'll actually find something. No, they're all way over here. Fuel's Hang on, what's that? No. But that is 6,000. Oh, I'm not going to travel 6,000 just to scan a metal rich. Yeah, they're worth taking a look at, but not to go that distance. Now there's three of them. Alright, so three of them. Four of them. Uh, it might be worth doing. Yeah, it's all just uh Right, where's the fucking B oh there it is right behind here. And there's two more behind the uh B star, the beta star. So there's five metal rich, uh, whoops, I wasn't meant to do that. There's five metal rich, uh, planets in here, and this last fucking, okay, he's over here. System scan complete. Two there, and then 
three there. Yeah, so five altogether. No, six altogether. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna scan them all, which is gonna be even less interesting than this video has been so far. So I think that will do then for now. Um, yeah, it has not been a particularly uh, interesting one. I'll be the first to admit it, but uh, there we are. Um, if I do one next week, it will be because I've got back to the populated zone. I'm not going to do another one where it's just all exploration because it's fucking boring. Um, so, uh, yeah, if there is anyone left, which I highly doubt, uh, that will do for this. So, uh, uh, yeah, see you next Tuesday.